I spent some time in Sonoma, California, visiting Hod Parts to see how they fix the parts I send them. This is part two, and I'll put a link to part one in the description. We're the only guy. You want to see the Ferrari 308 lock cylinder that we cast from scratch? Is that here? Did you find it? Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, well, here it is. So this is the key tumbler itself. This one is not uh, drilled yet, but mm -hmm. we, we actually cast it around a key blank uh -huh. and then machined it round. Mm -hmm. And then we put it into this special uh, die that we made mm -hmm. and drill the new holes for the springs mm -hmm. in it. And then in this case, we have one right here that we just made a new key for. So what are you eventually, what is it cast out of? Uh, a Zanuck. Zanuck. Zanuck is strong Zanuck. enough to do it. It is. Actually, Zamek, if you look it up on the internet, it is right in the same range as bronze or brass okay. in terms of ductility, uh, shear strength, compressibility. Okay. It's all all there. Yeah, there you well, go. Well, I, I mean, here's just your... looking here, I see more Ferrari stuff that looks yeah, there's a, yeah. We just cast this seam yeah. cover for a relay, yeah. and we put a Bosch, a yeah. 70 amp relay on yeah. the inside of the yeah. assembly. Yeah. It draws less amperage on the oh, yeah. coil I, pull I, down. Hide, I had all that stuff in there, yeah. too. Here's a here's a good one. This is what they call the fall apart uh, uh, seat belt surround. Because mm. when the cars came to the United States, they didn't necessarily have seat belts in them, so mm -hmm. they were aftermarket replaced with a, a seat belt made by Superior, which turns mm -hmm. out to be inferior. inferior. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, we even have problems with these because this is a, actually is a, a failed casting because as we pulled out of the mold, it broke as yeah. well. But uh, they're really tricky. They have these little kind of elephant yeah. feet that their toes turned out. We have to, a, a special tool to get them apart. But we cast these in a Reynolds product uh, that is a temperature cure plastic, mm -hmm. and they can get we we can get temperature cured plastics to be very strong. Cool. So what about this? The door handle? Is that a door handle? Yeah, okay. this is an Alfa Romeo door handle. The problem with die cast is, so is that it's is like a sponge. You guys die cast that? No, we didn't no, cast the handle. We we're, we're we're actually replating Just an original sponge. And the way you do that is you flash copper it, mm -hmm. yep. uh, and then you uh, fill all the voids yep. with solder, and then you put more copper on top, and then take it out and fill it with solder, and then put more copper on top, and then file it, and scrape it, and reshape what was all the original, these lines. What was that originally made out of? This, this is that a, was a, pro, a, a zinc die-cast die alloy. Cast. So the zinc die-cast is what we all have problems with. Right, all the right. turn signal switches, I mean the turn signal assemblies and all that other stuff. Right. Same thing with all the pitting, because they absorbed they and absorb they just, moisture yeah. and the zinc uh, turns it to zinc bust. oxide, it just, it's like just explodes. like you put on your nose to keep the sun from burning you, yeah. but it's a powder, right? and that's, we don't want yeah. powder on. You know, what I love, the fact that you guys are doing is, is, uh, is you know, turning, uh, turning so, the, the... Yeah, uh, Mike Rabin of Lamar Disc was my 93-year-old partner at Pebble Beach for yeah. years. God bless his soul, everybody loved Mike. But, and he had a uh, 2025 Rolls Royce and couldn't get wheel covers for it. Yeah. He made that and that started into an insane adventure. We now have over 250, well, not that many. Well, it's probably 120 mold. 120 yeah. mold dies for pre-war so cars. He, so he started it and then you guys now do it. Right, well, so he, he got to be 93, yeah, he, he passed said, away. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we, we acquired but all But spinning metal like this is like a whole new world of you know just equipment and skill and all that we, other we stuff. We just purchased a a 40 inch gap bed lathe right. made by FMC company to make army tank turrets and stuff yeah. and it's in our back warehouse right now we right. are gearing up to spin our own but still being chased through the shop by a six foot diameter piece of yeah. sheet steel is a dangerous thing and, that, that needs and that we're much. pretty much subcontracting spinning to guys that have 50 60 years of experience okay. so here's another metal uh, 3d metal engineering this is the original gearbox for a quick up jack on a talbot lago this is a 3d metal engineered duplicate uh, right down and that's to the down. gears 3d engineered so that was cast or that was a uh... These are all not cast. No, not These cast. are so dot, just like a mud dauber going in. 3D oh, okay. The metal because no, people are doing 3D printing positives and then making sand casting, mm -hmm. which can be done. Yeah, and we could do that right here now that we have the perfect mold models. Mm -hmm. Yet the integrity of steel to be a gear, that's that's a, that's a lot. That's cutting. Yeah, edge. that's edge. cutting. That's absolutely. And, it, cutting and this edge. is now strong enough. The printing now is this whatever the metal the, the steel. Yeah, this is doing. actually stainless steel. Oh, wow. 
printed in stainless steel. Well, they take the little dot of stainless steel and surround it in a resin, 3D print it, then put it in an oven, bake it. They bake out all of the plastic and the and the metal fuses together. Wow. Now, I don't have the that's specific technology on that, yeah, but, that's... but we sent it out to have it done, yeah. and it's the absolute most cutting edge of currently available. Neat. But, sure. uh, you know, everything in here is, is a casting that we've made using dental processes mm -hmm. and urethane. There's a familiar piece right there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is the one that throws the cigarette in yep. your hand once it's That's lit right. <laughs> and dings the bell at the same time. <laughs> Does it actually ring? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, not all of them. Yeah. Al uh, some alphas do and some alphas don't no, have I don't the think bell the, I don't the think back. the Ferrari I've ever heard one ring. Yeah. Here's seat hangers. Again, all of this yeah, is high nice. quality these, urethane. People are loose these. You know, it's so funny. Like to come down here and see this stuff, it's like I don't even it, I need to have a list of stuff you do because I, I know, know there's stuff that's broken. And it's like, oh yeah, we've made that. Oh yeah, we we've, we've done that. You know? I mean, we have a it's like one of these days. What you know? What I should get you guys to do is one of these days you need to lay out a, a, a table and put all the Ferrari yeah. stuff on there and then yeah. just take a picture of it. And well, that when way, I first okay. met you, you said one thing is that we need here is not everybody to doing do the same exactly. thing over and over. Yeah, and they are still. We're still doing it. I mean, there's still guys doing that. That shift knob. I know two other people that are making those shift knobs. That two finger shift yeah. knob. Two other people and different types, and we're making a solid. Don't tell me, I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, but but it, but it's good. But the thing is, like I said, I, I I tend to talk to everybody, but a lot of people don't talk to each other, and they feel the same way, but they <sighs> still don't tell you know, talk to anybody. I do an right? internet search to try and find. But a, they don't. But just the same way, how would they? They wouldn't even know yours is because yours is not on the internet. So how would they know that you made well, it? Well, how would they know? Up? Here's here's a way. So this is a really good story. I'll make it as quick as I can. This guy Jerry owns a owns a, a Nomad, uh -huh. and on the side of the Nomad are die cast trim that was chrome plated. Mm -hmm. Well, over the years, I mean, what is this, 1957 or so? I yeah. forget when a Nomad was yeah. made. 50 56, 57. 57. So uh, uh, they these uh, long trims go right up to the headlamp rims, mm -hmm. and. I, I searched the internet everywhere I could to find somebody must be duplicating. The Nomad is so powerful, mm -hmm. so important. Maybe somebody makes these. Couldn't find them until I knew what to call them. They're called eyebrows <laughs> and spears. <laughs> Once I had that, right. I found a guy in Louisiana right. whose accent was so thick, you couldn't, I had to have his son interpret for me. <laughs> they make them out of stainless steel. Right. I, I, I got it set up here, they were beyond right, reproach. So it will save you from having to think about Absolutely re perfect. all that stuff. And then of course, Jerry put it on the Nomad Club's uh, mm -hmm. a website. And and now that guy probably, you know, he'd rather wrestle alligators than not make another set of, right. of but Jerry got yeah, his. Yeah. No, we did the same thing. Yeah. I mean, speaking of Nomads, I mean, we did the, uh, the, the bottom trim piece and also there's a little square trim piece on the door panels on GTEs. There you know. That uses the Bell 57 Bel Air, that, that uh, anodized aluminum trim that goes across. Mm -hmm. wow. Unless you took that and laid it next to an original one, you wouldn't be able to tell the spacing is slightly off. Wow. And it's a little bit higher in thickness, but again, it's either scuffed toe, and you know, like, because you, your toe drags across the door panel yeah, every time you go, and it ruins basis. it, and, yeah, you, yeah. and you can't polish it out because it's aluminum, and you take the, you take the scratches out, then you take all the... the, the well, we're uh, always looking for a way to fix, you know, aluminum that's scratched right. without having to sand through it or what right. have you, and uh, there are some pretty interesting yeah, ways. Yeah, I mean, you can make a die and re-roll brand new steel, but again, it's about cost, it's, right. and I think what has happened is that Ferraris have gotten expensive enough that people are willing to pay, you know, the first one's expensive, the second one's a little bit cheaper, mm -hmm. but the thing is, we're always waiting for that, but when you find a solution like that, you know, it's just a matter of someone going to, you know, we end up sending them to Danchuk, who makes a lot of 50, you know, uh, shoebox, uh, not shoebox for it, but the, 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 the square Chevys, what they call them, tri fives or whatever. Right. So they they just bought them in bulk, and you just cut those up, laser cut them, and put them in. Wow. Uh, but you had to know that. And then then you yeah. see somebody, and they're like, well, of course, to I didn't know that till now. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So and, it's and, so funny. And all when, of these little trades and what have you, they become extremely important. I right. mean, I I let when I, I let a cat out of the box here. The the Ducilier rocker switch for mm -hmm. 330s, 275s, and yeah. a lot of them. It has a chrome plinth on the outside yeah. and a little yeah. tag. No, very familiar. 
Okay, well, we rebuild those because we use methyl methacrylate, which is a plastic that loves phenolic. Mm -hmm. And we can rebuild oh, and okay. reconstitute all the shapes in them. Right. But when you get down to the spring clips that hold them into the scuttle that everybody has lost, right. or they oh, fatigued them and broke, right. I discovered that it is a same clip used on a 55 T-Bird electric seat switch. <laughs> And I found the Ford part number, uh -huh. and I told the story to a Ford distributor that had a box of 20 of them on hand, and he said, that's such a good story, I'm sending it to you for free. Oh, that's good. I mean, and that's the craziness right, of right. the interchangeability sure, of sure. parts. No, it's, yeah, but I well. also laugh with you guys, because what happens is you guys deal with this stuff all the time, but unfortunately you don't get to see the actual car that it goes yeah, into. Very, very so sometimes right. we'll get a call from Jim and he's like, so which one does this go into and what is it like, you know, like, cause you know, you know that backwards and forwards, but right, right. seeing it actually in the car, which model it is. Well, we do see it occasionally. My Thrasher shirt is, is uh, from uh, Ed Riggins, mm -hmm. who is the publisher of Thrasher magazine uh -huh. and owns a Bora. Uh -huh. And he's good enough to bring us parts to uh, repair on his Bora. Yeah. And that, you know, goes across the, across the, the field of mean, various right, different right. needed everything. Sure, sure. So and as a matter of fact, I should mention just to give Ed a, a high up, he found this lathe oh, yeah? in San Francisco in a uh, pawn shop <laughs> and gave it to us. Oh, that's nice. But this thing is, you know, a half a thousandth of an inch these days yeah. is, is uh, this will count to tenths of a thousandth yeah. with a grinder on it. Sure. But uh, I grew up with a lathe like sure. this, and and it's just sure. unbelievable. I was lucky. Capable. I found one. I I found in advertised near me a guy was selling a lathe, and it was a a, a nine inch, and um, you know he was a IBM machinist. In, wow. In well, a nine inch just you, increases yeah, your capacity yeah, just, unbelievably. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's so. that's. But I have two. I have one at the shop, and even one at home because I can't live now. Without a lathe, where I no, am. You were just saying earlier no. how people can get by without having a lathe. No, no, no. So, lathe, lathe is like the first, and then the Bridgeport is the second. So, so I just let's look at everything. tools. Yeah, let's do. Okay, we call this the Norbon Press because this is the <laughs> spare tire off of Paul Norbon, the local toll guys. But it is actually here in our uh, wine country with a screw on it, and uh -huh. all these stupid things stacked up in order to get us within range. Is actually changing the offset. Ooh, on there is one of these wheel covers and right. they're all a little bit too short. So okay. we're heightening yeah. them on this press. They so used to they... fly up here. Oh, okay. So, so you're actually changing the, the, we're the off We're changing yeah. the offset. Right, okay. And uh, uh, there's a variety of different ways to do it. On this particular wheel cover, we're lucky that with so tiny amount of offset mm -hmm. that that adjustment is critical and necessary, mm -hmm. but we can do it on our, our, our silly uh, uh, threaded rod <laughs> on a giant circle, <laughs> you know? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, but whatever uh, it takes to get that thing. I mean, you we'd get it where you'd look at where you know you need to pry on something, and you're looking. Well, that support beam looks like it must be strong enough to hold it, and we'll do that. Exactly. I mean, you know, we're we're. Uh, I mean, it, it it doesn't look professional, but it no, is. No, it's all this is the so same. This, this is the do all machine. Yeah. Because we've stacked a bunch of mo grinders on top of each other, and we can grind any you know put anything in this chuck. Oh, okay. Grind. Yeah, yeah there you go. The cleaner here for your basic wire brush. These uh, uh, belt type things can get into corners. Yeah. And then this, actually, they have been grinding plastic on it, which is not the greatest, right. but uh, but it, it, it works. What materials this is? This is, is uh, a this silicon oh, okay. uh, carbide, and this is really good for sharpening the lathe tools. Yeah. And then a couple different buffing wheels. Yeah. They're just worn to tears. Sure. And then when we put the, uh, these belts are amazing. These multi-piece belts, they oh, yeah. never yeah. fail. Yeah, sure. And uh, this gives us, uh, a way to flush things. Sure. And we're standing behind this machine more often than any other because everything needs to be cleaned, yeah. then it needs to be trued and paralleled and flushed. Right. And this does 90% of no, that. No, this is great. I mean, I, I like having it all in one yeah. actually makes makes me start thinking because I, I probably have three or four of these things right. laying all over. Oh, I have right. a buffer. Sometimes all three of us will be working. Because <laughs> <Someone's laughs> yeah. 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 I realize that it's not just one motor. It's three motors that are all wired right. together, yeah. you know, so right. it's kind of funny because it starts making you think about footprint because I'm always trying to put like less shop space. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because what happens is this is all great because yeah, it's like warm. It. Yeah, because yeah. or else you just take up all your floor space with right. you know three or four. This offers. is a is a Harbor Freight uh, yeah. bead roller. Yeah. But it is highly modified. We yeah. made the sleeves stretch in and out here with the set screw, uh -huh. and has the Eastwood tool yeah. uh, variable speed on it. So. Yeah, great. 
and we have uh, tools coming out of our ears for this. Yeah. And uh, we started out this business actually repairing vacuum advances with the crimped together clamshell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I have a tool that we invented to open them up. But once they're open, they're kind of bottle cap. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put those in here and just, and just run them. And it makes it new again. Right. Wow. Essentially. Yeah. And then we close it. And I mean, we, might, we have done uh, in two inch circles six four by eight sheets of laminated uh a material to build vacuum diaphragms wow. and and that's i don't know how many two inch so circles so it's, fit so on it's six four by it's eight rubber sheets. or it's what is it what is the material it is buna n nitrile okay. right uh cast over a nylon reinforcement oh, okay. because of course yeah. vacuums can't you can't balloon them yeah, because if it, you it, have to it have has it to be just a, move a little bit of time. rigid material. Right, right. And then our 1939 South Bend lathe sure. that came out of uh, the Alameda Naval Air Station. Mm -hmm. And it's dirty as hell because it's like an old locomotive. Sure. You put oil on the top and it comes out the it's walls. A loss, a constant, <laughs> constant loss, right? Constant loss. Constant so we have off. toilet paper rolls that <laughs> soak it up. That's right. And then uh, it just, you know, yeah. occasionally we clean it up for show, but basically it is a workhorse. Yeah. No, I have a shop, uh, a, a South Bend at the shop that's, uh, that's the, I think it was a war surplus. So it's 46. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So 40, I think 45 or 46, I forget, but it's, uh, those things will last forever. But uh, besides turning things on this, the other day we had the tail stock of a, a die cast tail stock of a uh, old, it was before Delco Remy. It was a Remy generator and I have posted this on the on YouTube movie but the the die cast warps mm -hmm. locally there is uh, the carburetor refactory and Merrill Bright there is brilliant he showed us the motile temperature of die cast we are able to put a series of put that end in here and drive uh, the tail stop up against it and compress a work like a potato chip piece of die cast. Really? Slowly and heat it, it up to 250 degrees okay. and flatten it. So you're torching it or you're heating it? Torching in, it. Okay, you're just torching yeah, it. Yeah, with a, a rosebud rose right, right here on the, right. Uh, on the end. And, uh, and magically it's on the movie softens if you want and then, to see it. Yeah, sure, definitely. Cool. This is a vertical lathe that looks like a potter's wheel. And once uh -huh. again, you know, whatever is available. Right? Yeah, sure. But this captures all of the water when we are wet sanding. Oh, yeah. When we are wet sanding a, uh, a a wheel cover in order to get it down to get all of the tooling marks out of it. Right, before it's polished. Right, and, and then get it to oh, perfect polish. Yeah, that's smart. And it's uh, it was an old uh, ceramic table. Yeah, that's great. We have some weird stuff. This is a, a box and band break, but it, it breaks around in a, any size tube you want so that you can uh, uh, have a a tubular break right right we go on and on no no it's it's uh this, this is all from years of doing all this 1911 stuff. out of a sears catalog <laughs> but we oh, but i electrified it sure absolutely i electrified it and yeah. right now actually that band has to come off anyway because yeah. uh it's dull yeah yeah and that happens oh. no well, that's great i mean we could probably do this, this forever this is but a it's, bandsaw guy's trick yeah it, uh, it's the old uh that's yeah, right it's that's what they do with the uh, sunshades now, right? Yeah. We've got to figure out how to do it. So, but no, this is great. I mean, we could probably be here for hours, but um, so thanks for, for giving me the tour. It's like, uh, I'm sure, and we haven't even scratched the surface of the amount of stuff that you have. Yeah, and when you look up here, I mean, you can talk about this, you can talk about that. I mean, it's just everywhere you look, there's some project or something that oh, someone's yeah. done. But uh, at Absolutely. the same time, you know, I'm glad I made it down here. I, I hope people find this stuff pretty interesting. I know they everybody's seeing what they see here, and they're thinking, "Hey, I got one of those. I got one of those." So right, right. You just got to find odd parts in Sonoma, and I, you know, I've you know, easy Google search. But uh, definitely uh, keep doing what you're doing because I think there are a lot of people that wouldn't would be stuck if oh, you guys yeah. didn't have this stuff. No, no, stuff, we, that's so. what we do every day. Is uh, every day is a new challenge. It's like Christmas when cut stuff comes in. We open a box and our, our minds start wheeling. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. And uh, we yeah. don't. I, I'm trying to think. I we don't often fail. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. mean, we failed plenty enough before it goes back to the customer right. to find out right. what we need to do. Right. But uh, in the end, uh, I mean. Yeah. Either way, it's great that you're doing it, and yeah. uh, but thank you guys so much for doing the uh, the tour. And uh, well, it's, it's great said, that you're making a video. No, it's all I good. Mean, this is kind good of, to get the you uh, know. Well, I mean, trying to get the word out, but it's also good for everybody to see it. I think we all, whoever was watching, likes this kind of stuff. And this is, like I said, this is this is the little workshops that I wish we had more of. 
But that's the reason why you guys are Tom, so busy. Tom, it's absolutely great you come across the country and then think of stopping by here. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. I wouldn't have missed it. But thanks, guys. All right.